All right, so the number that you put in, that's your atomic number. So, you know, one is hydrogen. So we have the one, the H. Let me get a little bit darker here so you can see it. Lithium and then beryllium and boron. You want to do that all the way through here. Okay. Now, one thing you want to be careful of, though. Okay. Okay. Look back here for a second. Let's turn it up here. Again, pause for a moment. Look back here. There's two areas where people always make a mistake because they start getting comfortable and they start going through all the numbers. And then also they get here, here, and here is where they make their mistakes. Because they go cesium, barium, hafnium, tantalum, tungsten, and they start putting this around here. They just forgot this entire row right here. The same thing happens in here. You know, FR, RA, all of a sudden RF, ZZ, SG, and they forgot all these down here. One thing I would recommend doing is maybe on your periodic table, if you have a pencil or something like that, just kind of lightly circle this area just so it's drawing attention that you know when you get the cesium, barium, and also you can go down to length in the next. Cerium, praseodymium. Okay. Just be careful with that section here. So let me show you. Let me show the camera. So, the area where a lot of people make a mistake is they're doing this. Oops, come on now, getting the camera here. They're going through here, and then all of a sudden they get down here, and they go cesium, barium, lanthanum, hafnium, and they forgot all this down here at the bottom. See, 55, 56, 57, 58 is down here. 59 all the way to 71, then 72 is up here, and 87, 88, 89, all of a sudden jumps to 104. You have these down here, 90 through 103. Okay, so you want to make sure you keep those in mind.